Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Spoo's Clues, my 2022 creative design for competition. So today I'm going to be coloring a handy dandy notebook. This is just the background and I am using Crazy Liberty's light green. So I'm starting here from the center and I'm going to work my way out towards the edges. I have the edges protected in several ways. First, I have hair I don't want to fall onto the green clipped up or away. And then because magenta and blue are literally so close to the edges of the left and the right of this notebook square, um, I have some cholesterol around those edges. And you can see on the right hand side, I have a little piece of glad press and seal just to make sure that no green gets on the blue hair because that's her tuck up area and so it indents there at her waist and her tuck up so i'm starting in the middle and working my way out by gently uh bringing in pieces of hair into the center and yes i'm a little slower than most people because um this is my first chance to do a full creative uh, for competition because I got knocked out for COVID. Everybody got knocked out for COVID in 2020 and 2021. So I want to make sure that this is as perfect as it can be. Spoo is currently growing out from her abstract creative design of last year. I did a breast cancer awareness ribbon. I carved that into her on her hips on her back. So you can see right there above blue, there's a little white spot and it looks uneven. That's because there's a piece of hair I need to grow in. Now back to the coloring. Here I am getting ready to get up against the edges and I need to be precise and make sure that my lines are exactly clean. I used a rat tail comb to make sure that I have a perfect square. It may not look like it here because her body is not one dimensional but I have a perfect square worked out. I put a little bit of color in my bowl at a time so that I don't put too much in and waste it. It is expensive and I have to make sure that I don't put too much product in and end up having to um, throw it away because I have too much. So now I'm getting to the bottom of the square Again, still pulling hair up and in towards the center. That will make sure that everything stays neat. Now, here I am coming up at the bottom left-hand corner where it meets magenta's arm coming up under the belly. And this hair is a little bit longer on the bottom because I need there to be depth. And again, this is still a rough scissor design. I have not done my finish work yet. I'm going to be putting in magenta spots later today and also the spots on blue. Now I'm working my way to obviously the right side of the square and there we go getting on the edges making sure literally that that edge is perfect. Judges will part the hair and they will check your line work. So you have to be precise. A lot of my friends are much faster at this than I am, and I'm sure I will get faster as my experience grows as well. As I said, this is Crazy Liberty Light Green. It will rinse lighter than it looks now. Here I am using the end of my brush, the tip of it, to make sure I don't get hair I don't want pulled up in. Using my lines, making sure I don't get any on blue. Usually in a coloring session, I start out, and I'm a little slower, but then as my confidence builds, I get a little bit quicker here. Spoo is a 
a huge fan of grooming, absolutely loves it, and she lets me know when she needs a little break or she'll just, you know, sit and I let her do whatever is comfortable for her, as you will see. She's going to sit down here in a minute. And it's fine. I can still color that way. Making sure I'm getting very crisp lines. Should always keep a damp towel nearby you in case you get some on your gloves or your fingers and you can wipe that off. Also, if you happen to drip on another part of your design, leave it alone. Don't try to wipe it off. You will just make a mess. Just leave the drip until you rinse and then you'll only have a teeny spot to worry about. And thinning shears will greatly help you get rid of any accidental drips you may have. Now I'm making sure my top line is nice and crisp. Spoo's breathing heavier. She sees a dog out the window in the front. <laughs> Usually if that's at the house, she'd be barking like crazy at that dog in the shop. She's pretty good. And here we go. She's ready to sit. So I let her. Her comfort comes first. Now I'm checking sure I have all of my lines even, that I have gotten everywhere in that design all the way to the roots. Wiping off my hands. And I'm going to take that glad press and seal that I have and I'm going to place it over this green area so that she can sit or lay down now and I don't have to worry about color transferring. I'm using the clips I had around the edges holding the other colored hair back or the white hair out of the way. And I'm gonna use those clips to make sure that that glad press and seal doesn't move. If she happens to shake, it won't come off. And if she lays, it won't go anywhere. And there we go. And here we go. Magenta and blue got their spots, as you can see here today, too. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications. And thank you for watching.